If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a question, comment, suggestion, or maybe you just want to find out more information about the product, you can find the link below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3GameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Antac Cooler H20 950 Liquid Cooling System. A great looking, colorful, informative box that has lots of pictures, features and specifications about the product, even results on it, and the box itself is wrapped in this plastic so you know it has never been opened before. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. It comes in this environmentally friendly packaging styrofoam at the top. They include a user's manual or installation guide, all the materials needed for installation, as well as grid software, a 120 millimeter fan, and the unit itself which is in this plastic bag. Oh, and the water block has this piece of plastic on it to protect it, as well as keeping the thermal compound in place. This product is compatible with all current AMD and Intel motherboards, and I'll list on the screen which sockets it is compatible with, so you can be 100% sure it's going to work for you. Now this ALC, or Advanced Liquid Cooling System, is completely sealed. And that's what's so great about these ALC because there is no maintenance required, no refills, and thankfully zero risk of leaks. And since it's completely configured, there's no need for any extra installation like custom water cooling kits. So by combining the water block, pump, reservoir, and radiator together, it reduces the traditional four component loop into just one component. And this substantially decreases the space required for installation. And it really simplifies the installation process over traditional water cooling kits. Note though, that in most cases, Custom water cooling is still the way to go if you're looking for maximum performance. Now in this compact unit, they have the cold plate as well as the electronics, and it measures in at only one inch or 26 millimeters in height. Now this is pretty neat. The Antec logo actually glows and changes the RGB LED based on temperature, which is an excellent visual indicator of CPU temperature. The CPU block is all copper, and as you can see, it is attached very well. The surface is smooth and that means it will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. The block also comes with a thin coat of thermal compound which takes the guesswork out of applying it yourself. There are a few connections that you'll need to make. They are all labeled so that really makes it super easy. Fan, to fan, to power, and to USB. Note as well that they are using flat, flexible cables. With most ALCs, the pump is actually mounted on the water block, but on this unit, it's mounted on the fan, which is in turn attached to the radiator, and this has two advantages. With the pump being closer to the radiator, it should improve cooling performance because it can move the liquid through the radiator quicker. Also, since vibrations are symptomatic of pumps, it won't cause anything to vibrate on the motherboard. The tubes are filled with safe, environmentally friendly, anti-corrosive liquid, and the tubes themselves are very flexible and durable, and measure 11.8 inches or 300 millimeters in length, and this should be more than enough for most cases since you're you know, normally mounting it either at the top or the back of the case. And these tubes are reinforced at the radiator and the water block, and of course, this is to keep them nice and secure so they're not going to disconnect. The 120 20 millimeter aluminum radiator that they include is rather thick, a lot thicker than most average 120 millimeter ALCs. Also, this radiator comes with holes on the opposite side, so you can attach, using the included screws, the included 120 millimeter four pin PWM fan. Now, while they include a 120 millimeter fan, which by the way is pretty much the same as this one, and it spins anywhere from 600 to 2400 RPMs, and by the way, this is automatically controlled by the firmware. They include a connection here. It is a four pin for this fan. So you don't have to worry about that. You just have to make the power connection and everything is good to go and then just mount it to the case. And of course, if you want performance, you would go ahead and install the included 120 millimeter fan. I mean, you're paying for it, so why not install it unless you do not have enough room inside of the case. Now the fan that's mounted on the unit is designed to blow warm air out of the case. So just make 
make sure that the case cooling is substantial because it has to draw cool air from inside of the case. And if the case is warm on the inside, well, that's not going to work very well. So keep that in mind. Now, unlike the cooler 650, the 950 comes with this 120 millimeter four pin PWM fan. So that should mean better temps, but it also comes with grid software, which the 650 does not. And oh, by the way, the other difference between this particular unit, the 950 and the 650 is the radiator is a little bit thicker on the 950 compared to the 650. This is Antex grid software and it is very intuitive. I'll go through it in just a minute. First, of course, you need to install your CPU cooler then make the internal USB connection to the motherboard and the three pin power connection. Once you've done that, install the Antec grid software, reboot, and you'll see this. Now, first of all, it will start on the silent mode where of course the fan is set at a low RPM, so it is very silent. You can see that there is an analog representation of the fan speed as well as a digital one and the representation here of the temperature and you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can also quickly select an extreme mode which basically maxes the fan all the way up or you can do a custom where you can adjust the fan speed manually like for example maybe you want to just keep it at just under 1000 RPMs all of the time and again you can still at any point here choose between Celsius or Fahrenheit as well you can reset at the bottom you've got different graphs the liquid temperature as well as the fan speed as well as the log LED options you can choose or define a custom LED and since this is an RGB LED you can pretty much select any color note the Antec logo here changing color like for example let's make it a red there we go so now that will reflect the RGB LED that's on top of the water block pretty neat but you can also go with the predefined liquid temperature controlled LED color and you can also adjust the low temperature setting. And you've got settings of the application itself. You can start it minimized. You can change the application color as well as the language. And as well, you can minimize or you can exit the application. Now have a listen to the fans and the pump. Now this is a really good ALC. It's one of the best 120 millimeter ALCs that is out there. And the reason for it is the radiator is nice and thick and the tubes are flexible, strong. The connections are very well done. The pump is very quiet, but it moves lots of liquid. Nice copper water block includes a 120 millimeter fan along with software. This is pretty much a win-win ALC. So if you're looking for one, keep this one at the very top of your list. Now the only real downside to this unit is the integrated fan. And while it works well and looks great, if it fails you simply can't just quickly pull it out and put another one in. I think these advanced liquid coolers are really the way to go because to be honest, a lot of really good CPU air coolers are around the same price and they can be very, very noisy because the fans generally have to be a little bit more powerful and running faster than on a unit like this. Now the other end of course is custom water cooling which will give you better performance than this particular product 
product, but of course that you are involved with possibly multiple radiators and other components and possibly more than one pump and you have to find a place to mount it and then you have to maintain it, etc. So custom water cooling, while it performs better, there is a lot of extra work and extra cost involved with it. So really a unit like this is in my opinion the way to go for most people unless you're going to extreme overall this is a 100 percent kick-ass product until next time take care how do you think this product stacks up to vote head on over to 3dgameman.com and while you're there check out the pricing